of Mr. Mark Weston. Start the clapping, lots of noise. Mark Weston. Hello. Good evening. You having fun? Yes. Oh, you can do better than that. Are you having fun? Yes. That was too much. <laughs> now I'm nervous. And the problem is when I get nervous, ladies and gentlemen, is that I tend to talk really, really fast, which means you don't understand a word I'm saying. But on the plus side, I am great at speed dating. <laughs> yeah, I can do two, maybe three venues in one night. It's brilliant. Is anybody being speed dating? Don't you ask, you're my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, has, no? No. You have? Yeah. Did you find love? No. Uh, neither did I. <laughs> Shame. I actually got the concept completely wrong the first time I went. I uh, turned up with enough drugs to floor an elephant. <laughs> didn't, uh, didn't go down very well. Apart from the elephant, he had a whale of a time. So, as I say, I didn't find love, but I did find a fantastic business opportunity. A glaring hole in the speed dating market. One I thought I'd go and speak to the bank manager about. Um, so I'd like to share that with you, because I'm going to open speed dating for mackerel. Yeah, to be honest, that's the look he gave me. But bear with me, bear with me. You see, mackerel, they all look the same. How do they find a partner? I can see that father-son conversation now. Dad, I want to look like him. Yeah, but son, he's a cod. <laughs> and by the way, I'm your mother. <laughs> so, uh, listen, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I am the youngest of three children, and th that comes with the, the usual problems. The biggest problem was hand-me-downs. Now, I know what you're thinking, Mark, come on. What a fantastic use of the recycling system. Yeah, I've got two sisters. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to come home as a 13-year-old boy to be greeted at the door with, Hey, Maria's home, Maria, Maria! Oh, come on, Maria, did you have a good day? I hate my mum. Still, she doesn't do it anymore. No, she's dead. She, no, she's not, she's not, no. She survived the attack. But, uh, the, the other problem, the other problem was I was always the last to hear anything in my family. I think it was kind of a, a protection thing because I was the youngest. Um, I was the last to find out we had a new car. I was the last to find out that uh, my sister had just got engaged. In fact, I was the last to find out I was uh, adopted and we'd actually moved. To be honest, I was the last to find out my dad had sadly passed away, and that was only because my, I asked my mum, is that a new vase on the mantelpiece? <laughs> I don't normally get that reaction. But um, you know what they say, you can't choose your family, unless of course you're a stalker, then I'm sure you can choose a family. I'd love a stalker, I think they get a bad press. They have such great organisational skills. If I'm in the shower and Colin's not at the window, I know I'm late for work. <laughs> but uh, I, I shouldn't complain, because I did have a great childhood. Um, I particularly liked school. A lot of my friends, they didn't like school. I loved school. I loved assembly. It was my favourite part of school, assembly. But we never actually seemed to make anything, which was just... <laughs> I was always left wanting more, really. <laughs> and school has changed. When I went to school, it was uh, CSEs and home economics, and now it's... GCSEs and catering, and we sure as hell didn't have a sex offenders register. <laughs> they got a sex offenders register at their school. Uh, I'm often asked what makes me laugh, and um, well, apart from being tickled. Um, irony, sense of irony. I don't mean people being ironic, I mean accidental irony. Um, I'd like to give you a few examples. There's a national outlet called Go Outdoors, and I just think, yeah, but you've got to go indoors to buy it. <laughs> What's, what's going on? What's going on? Or the poster I saw in an Alzheimer's Society window um, advertising a charity walk to raise muns for... Muns? Muns. Funds for a great show. Um, it was called the Memory Walk, and I just wondered if anybody did turn up. <laughs> is, is this the Memory Walk? No, this is the Butchers. Is there a Memory Walk? I don't know. It's the opticians. Or the fact that I bought a bronze heron to protect my koi, because I keep koi and I brought a bronze heron to protect it from a real koi, a real koi? A fly, so it definitely needs protecting from a real heron. And uh, it blew in overnight and killed one of my koi. <laughs> What's going on? Um, or my favorite, I read an article in the Telegraph that um, the body of a headless man had been found on a beach and police were waiting for the results of the autopsy to discover the cause of death. <laughs> I'm thinking, <sighs> loss of head? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I'd like to leave you pondering on that joke, madam. <laughs> keep laughing. No, please, keep laughing.
Listen, you've been lovely. Thank you very much. I've been Mark Weston. Good night.